Hey guys, this is Mauro. If you have problems hitting that forehand controlling when you want to add the spin, if you have a hard time adding spin to the shots, if you you pay you want to pay attention to, to the trajectory of the ball. If you see when you hit the ball that that kind of makes a straight line, it's not really, really that kind of arch curvy shot that bounces. That means you're hitting too flat. One easy way to add spin to that forehand is you want to pay attention to the hand, I mean, I'm sorry, to the arm. When you get ready, when we get ready here, when you bring the racket back, one thing that you want to pay attention, first thing guys, is you want to, sh you want to make sure you're rotating with your hips and your shoulders, the upper torso. The lower body, your, your legs, they don't have to turn unless you're on the run. But any shot that you can, try to keep the semi-open stance and you rotate the upper body so it returns to that position and when you make contact the body's already open that's what's going to help you um, that's going to make it easier bring that racket around and brush but the easy way to work on that to work with the arm brushing that ball is be careful for those of you you know when you have the wrist to to lose and the racket loose and the racket looks like you're doing too much stuff like that so what happens is it's very, it's very easy to mishit that ball. It's very easy to hit with the frame and not center it. So one thing that you, you really want to pay attention is you turn and once you pull the trigger, once you swing, you see how we're lagging that racket and the racket is pointing down, okay? So once you get here, guys, you want to feel the arm is extended, you're lagging the racket, and when you're, you're bringing up when you're going up here, you're gonna feel that the arm. You don't wanna, you don't wanna work too much with their wrist. That's when you start missing too many shots, miss hitting. Keep your keep the wrist steady. Keep your elbows straight. Careful. A lot of people doing too early here too. So one thing you wanna do: extend it, let it go. And you gotta feel that when you're down here, you're already your arm is already turning. That is like kind of a opening a door here, see? Or or the water, or let's say the water faucet. You're doing that part here. My arm is working. When I'm coming here, my arm is already kind of starting to turn. So my racket is going down and it's already coming up. And this is when I start doing this part here. I want to try to make contact at stomach height. And in front of me, why? because that's where my racket's already gaining some speed. The head of my racket gaining some speed, bringing that, bringing that around. So if you pay attention, guys, it's my arm working here, hitting and relaxing and bringing it all the way around you guys. But one thing that you really wanna pay attention is the arm. Remember, it's like a doorknob. You gotta feel that arm working be careful when you're bending too much if you if you if you bend the elbow too much and it's close to you you're not gonna really let it go with the whole body and extension of the arm you're just swinging like that it's like throwing punches like this guys you gotta feel that arm is loose and going through if you're using too much the wrist if you're hitting too many shots with the frames you want to pay attention because your problem is hitting you're probably using too much the wrist and the racket looks kind of like that it's way too much it, it, it always kind of reminds me like one of those needles in the that that measure the earthquakes you know that go like that crazy well that's how what happens with the forehand or the backhand when you get that wrist too loose and it gets too wristy same on the forehand same on the backhand same on the serve you want to have a little more steadier firmer wrist not so firm that your arm is going to get stressed just firm enough so you can control it and it won't give way all right, and remember, you're starting here down, and from here down, you're coming up, and you're already turning that door knob here. You gotta feel that, that that not only you're going, you're going with the whole upper body, but your door knob it's start already to open, and you're gonna make contact and finish it all the way around. Okay, guys. Well, I hope it helps. Let me know if you have any questions, any suggestions. Please give me a like or subscribe to my channel, and remember, go out there. Be center, stay bold, and perseverant. Thank you.